In this video, I'm going to briefly talk about the history of sport-based eSports. So sport-based eSports include competitive gaming simulations of traditional sports. They are rapidly growing as a significant genre within the broader eSport ecosystem. For example, FIFA by Electronic Arts was very successful, with many people playing FIFA Interactive World Cup. NBA 2K also gained massive following, which actually led to NBA 2K to partner up with NBA. These games recreate the experience of play or watching of real-world sports within a digital environment, attracting both traditional sport fans and gamers. It was in the early 2000s when these sports simulations games started to emerge with popular titles like FIFA, NBA 2K and Madden NFL. FIFA uh, released the game in, in the late 90s and continued to um, uh, evolve and make it better into the 2000s. There were informal competitions and local tournaments in this time, so they really became the foundation for competitive sport-based esports scene we see today. In 2010, there was a sudden rise of FIFA esports, and FIFA series became the main element of competitive gaming. Notable milestones included the establishment of FIFA Interactive World Cup and the EA Sports FIFA Global Series, which really put FIFA esports into the spotlight. EA later introduced FIFA Global Series, provided a structured competitive framework, and top players were battling for prestigious titles. Rocket League was introduced in 2015, which offered a unique blend of soccer and vehicle or chaos. It was captivating players and spectators, and uh, Psyonix Rocket League Championship Series uh, further solidified the game's place in the eSport landscape, showcasing intense competitions and skillful gameplay. Rocket League was important because it captured the attention of both eSports enthusiasts and traditional eSports fans. It solidified its place as a premier eSports title in the sport-based gaming genre. Electronic Arts later established the Madden NFL Championship Series in 2016, marking a significant milestone in competitive Madden NFL gaming. The Madden NFL Championships attracted top players from around the world, offering substantial prize pools and recognition within the gaming community. Uh, with the series inception, Madden NFL Esports saw a very sharp growth, featuring major tournaments and events that attracted both players and spectators alike. The Formula One Esports series was introduced in 2017, marking Formula One official foray into the world of esports. It was developed in collaboration with Codemasters, the developer of official Formula One video game series. The esports series brought the excitement of Formula One racing to the virtual realm. The game had a uh, structured competitive format, including regional qualifiers, live events, and a championship finale, mirroring the intensity of real-world racing competitions. By bridging the gap between virtual and real-world motorsports, the Formula One eSports series attracted a new generation of fans and drivers, elevating the profile of eSports within the motorsport community and beyond. In 2018, the NBA and Take-Two Interactive launched the NBA 2K League, a groundbreaking eSport venture. The league introduced a franchise-based structure, professional player contract, and a high level of integration with the NBA brand, which further legitimized sport-based esports on a global scale. The league's inaugural season featured 17 teams, each affiliated with existing NBA franchises, and uh, followed a professional uh, sports league format, complete with player drafts, uh, regular season games, playoffs, and a championship series. Over the years, advancements in sports simulation technology have played a pivotal role in shaping the landscape of sport-based esports. Graphics have become increasingly realistic, allowing players to immerse themselves in lifelike virtual environments that closely resemble their real-world counterparts. Gameplay mechanics have also evolved, with developers continuously refining controls, physics, and, um, and artificial intelligence to deliver authentic and engaging experiences for players. Esports specific features such as spectator modes, replay systems, and online matchmaking further enhance the competitive and viewing experience for players and audiences alike. Sport-based esports have also attracted significant sponsorship and partnership from uh, various entities, including sports organizations, leagues, teams, and corporate brands. 
These partnerships provide financial support, increased exposure, and contribute to the professionalization of sport-based esports competitions. For example, NBA 2K League secured partnership with major brands like AT&T and Sneakers, showcasing the appeal of esports to mainstream advertisers. FIFA esports events such as FIFA E-World Cup have attracted sponsorship from uh, global brands like Visa and Coca-Cola, highlighting the international reach and commercial viability of competitive FIFA gaming. Sport-based esports have also gained significant traction in broadcasting, reaching both traditional sports network and online streaming platforms. Major sports networks like ESPN and Turner Sports have begun broadcasting esports events, exposing these type of events to a wider audience of sport fans. Online streaming platforms such as Twitch and YouTube Gaming have become primary destinations for watching sport-based esports tournaments, offering interactive viewing experiences and fostering community engagement. More and more professional athletes are becoming involved in sport-based esports, either as competitors or ambassadors for the gaming community. Examples include NBA players like Gordon Hayward and Ben Simmons participating in NBA 2K tournaments, showcasing the gaming skills and engaging with fans. Football stars like David Beckham and Erling Haaland are expressing their love for FIFA eSports, promoting the competitive FIFA scene to their millions of followers on social media. This crossover between traditional sports and eSports not only enhances the visibility of sport-based games, but also bridges the gap between athletes and gamers. Sport-based esports have experienced globalization with competition and tournaments held across reg regions worldwide. Regional competitions such as FIFA E-Club World Cup and the NBA 2K League Draft combined provide opportunities for players from different regions to showcase their skills and compete at an international level. The global nature of sport-based esports fosters diversity, encourages cultural exchange, and contributes to the growth of esports ecosystem on a global scale. The accessibility and inclusion aspects of sport-based esports can be contextualized within the historical evolution of the esports industry. In the early days of competitive gaming, participation was often limited to those who had access to specific gaming hardware or were part of local gaming communities. However, as technology advanced and esports gained mainstream recognition, there was a growing emphasis on um, making competitive gaming more accessible to a wider audience. There was also a, this uh, broader societal shift in what people think about inclusivity. Sports simulation games offer accessibility to a, a broad audience, attracting both traditional sports enthusiasts and gamers. The inclusive nature of sport-based esports has led to efforts to promote diversity and representation within the gaming community. Initiatives such as Women's League in NBA 2K and FIFA, as well as diversity and inclusion programs implemented by esports organizations, aim to create a welcoming environment for players of all backgrounds. For the future trends, there will be continued growth and innovation, which are expected in the realm of sport-based esports, driven by advancement in technology and changing consumer preferences. There will be integration of emerging technologies like virtual reality and augmented reality, which could revolutionize the spectator experience, offering immersive ways to watch and interact with sport-based esports events. And additionally, the convergence of traditional sports and esports is likely to deepen with more collaborations between sports league uh, teams and esports organizations, as well as increased involvement of athletes in gaming related activities. As the industry evolves, sport based esports are poised to become even more mainstream, attracting larger audiences and further blurring the lines between physical and digital sports entertainment. Just to conclude, sport-based esports have undergone significant evolution from the early days as niche gaming experiences to becoming mainstream entertainment spectacles. The genre's integration of traditional sports elements with competitive gaming has broadened its appeal, uh, attracting both sports enthusiasts and gamers worldwide. With continued advancement in technology, increasing accessibility, and a focus on inclusion, sport-based esports will continue to grow and innovate in the years to come. As sport-based esports continue to bridge the gap between traditional sports and gaming, 
they offer exciting opportunities for engagement, for entertainment and community building on a global scale.